Quality Goals and Outcomes for Services for People with Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities, or IDD. This video summarizes a report where we recommend goals and outcomes that should be used to promote quality for long-term services and supports, or LTSS, for people with IDD. In our report, we talk about three different types of goals that we have. Foundational goals are the first kind. Foundational goals serve as building blocks upon which everything else is built, covering quality of life areas such as safety, health, dignity, respect, and many more. The second kind are essential element goals. Essential element goals ensure that people have a meaningful life, including community integration, self-determination, person-centeredness, etc. The third type of goals are innovation goals. Innovation goals represent excellence and innovation. Goals should be used as standards to have a quality LTSS system and to promote the quality of life of people with IDD. Within each goal, we also discuss outcomes that can examine if the goals have been reached. We also believe that all goals and outcomes should be person-centered and people should have informed choices and the opportunities to take risks. Now, let's have a look at what's in the actual report. As a reminder, foundational goals serve as the building blocks upon which everything else is built. People should be safe and free from abuse and neglect. There should be prevention of abuse and neglect. There should also be good systems to investigate, address, and reduce abuse and neglect. There should also be survivor support systems. People with IDD should be healthy and healthcare should be person-centered and self-directed. People with IDD should have access to high-quality healthcare and trauma-informed mental health services. Healthcare providers should be trained to provide services to people with IDD. Support staff should stay longer at their jobs and less support staff should be leaving their jobs. Staff should also have more training. People with IDD should be able to self-direct their staff and help train their staff. People with IDD should be treated with dignity and respect. This involves person-centered services. People should have choices and control of what they want to do during the day. People with IDD should be able to choose where they live and who they live with. There should also be more people with IDD living in smaller settings, more people living in their own homes, and fewer people on housing waiting lists. People with IDD should be supported to exercise their rights. People should also have meaningful due process for rights restrictions. Both staff and people supported should be educated about people's rights. People with IDD should have access to augmentative and alternative communication, or AAC, and communication technology, such as iPads. People should also have access to translation and interpretation services. Staff should also be trained in communication skills. People should have meaningful relationships. This includes building and strengthening people with IDD's relationships with family, friends, romantic and sexual partners, and natural supports. As a reminder, essential element goals ensure that people have a meaningful life. People with IDD should truly belong in their communities by being engaged in and contributing to their communities in ways that they desire. People should have access to accessible, available, low cost, and safe transportation. People with IDD should have the same access to transportation as everyone else. People with IDD should be choosing what they do during the day. There should be more people in competitive integrated employment, fewer people in day programs, and fewer people paid some minimum wage. More family support should be available. There should be an increase in family caregivers being paid to provide support and an increase in caregiver health and wellness. People with IDD should have informed choice. There should be an increase in self-direction and supports to make this possible. Self-advocacy and peer mentoring should also be supported. Support providers should increase their business skills. More providers should be skilled at collecting and learning from data. Goals should be person-centered and directed. People with IDD should be choosing their goals and working on goals that are important to them. There should also be better person-centered planning, including people with IDD contributing to their plans, plans being accessible, and people having increased choices about providers and services. As a reminder, Innovation goals represent excellence and innovation. People with IDD should have access to regular technology like computers, smartphones, and iPads, as well as special healthcare technology, such as the ability to talk to a doctor on a computer. There should be increased availability of shared living. People with IDD should also be choosing the staff and agencies that provide their services. There should be a stronger system to support people with IDD in the community. There should be more money for services and fewer people waiting for services. 
More people should be integrated into their communities, too. There should be increased training for support staff and more money to pay support staff. People with IDD should also be involved in hiring, training, and evaluation of staff. There should be more LTSS providers that are accredited. Accreditation is a process to ensure organizations provide good services. There should be an expansion of peer support and mentoring. People with IDD should be able to grow their peer mentoring skills. There should also be more money to support peer mentoring. In this report, we not only recommend goals and outcomes, we also point out existing tools that can be used to measure progress for each outcome. Some of these tools examine outcomes with individual people, some with providers or payers, and some for states. States and managed care organizations, or MCOs, can use our recommendations for quality improvement, monitoring, or payment structures. Service providers can also use our recommendations to improve the quality of their services and supports. Finally, people with IDD and their families can use our recommendations to advocate for better services and supports. This video was made by the IDD MLTSS Workgroup. To see our full report, which is called Alternative Funding Models for People with Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities, Quality Outcomes and Measurement Metrics, or to find out more information, visit our website at c-q-l.org slash mltss.